that's how. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Kaylee Mize, and joining us today, we have Noah Hunt. Noah, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Okay, so we were speaking earlier, and you told me that you are a communications major here at UA. Yep. What made you decide that you wanted to do communications in particular? Oh, man, this is my favorite question, um, and because it always gets a lot of laughs. I went through six different majors, um, including communication. So I, I scuba dive, and so when I got into college, I um, went into marine biology, and I quickly realized that marine biology is just biology, and it's <laughs> terrible. Um, and I went through marine biology, economics, religious studies, physical therapy, um, marine geology, and then I decided to go to the career fair, or not the career fair, excuse me, the career center on campus in the FERG, and took a bunch of tests and sort of aligned with communication. I didn't know what that looked like or what communication really was until I got more involved in the department, and then I've loved it ever since I've, I've been involved. Okay, so you love everything about communications. What particular do you plan to do with your degree when you graduate? Um, at first, it was sort of getting involved with the communication department, maybe with a company, because I, like I said, I didn't know much about it. But the more that I've gotten involved with the department, um, my eyes have been open to radio, which is something that, it's funny that I, I loved when I was a kid. I just never thought about it as a career, and it kind of took me a while to come all the way back to that once I got into college and through six majors. but. I, I love radio. I love working in radio. Um, right now, I've worked with WVUA's radio station. I uh, have a podcast. And so that, for me, is just something I really love to do. And that, that to me, communication is like is that, is, is radio. So you said you really enjoyed radio growing up. So was there any particular like person that you liked to listen to a lot it, or that inspired you, someone you wanted to be like when you got into communications? Yeah. I As a kid, I liked radio shows and talk shows way too much. I remember when I was really young, we had this karaoke machine in our basement, and I would just go down there, and I wouldn't put a CD in, CD in or anything and not let anything play. I would just take the microphone and just use it as a speaker, and I would just sit there on a stool with a microphone and just talk like I had my own radio show. I wanted to be like Rick and Bubba. Nice. And if you're from Alabama, you know yeah. who Rick and Bubba is. They're, oh, yeah. they're like the, you know, the pinnacle of just like radio in Alabama, really in the southeast. And I just, as a kid, I would drive to school. My mom would play it. When I got old enough to drive my siblings to school, I would play it in the car. They probably hated it. I don't know. But yeah, and, and it was funny because as a kid, I thought about that. I thought it was the coolest job in the world. Mm -hmm. And I got to college and I majored in marine biology and it took me all this time to kind of come full circle back to radio. Where you started, Where that's I started, wonderfully yeah. full circle. So you said that you had a podcast of your own that mm -hmm. you like to do. What kind of podcast is it? It's mostly comedy, uh, just kind of joking around about like pop culture surrounding college students because that's what I am and that's what my, my co-host is, my roommate Ty. Um, the first episode we kind of just were like, let's crack on guys uh, on Tinder because they're just the worst kind of people. Yeah. I think, no offense, I've never been on it, but I see a lot of times guys on Tinder will be like, it's just created this really bad relationship culture, I think, because guys get on there and they're behind their phone and they're, girl, I'm gonna I'm I'm do this, this, and this, I'm gonna give you, <laughs> yeah. you know, and then they meet them in person and they're like, going yeah. and it's it's created this I think just line and people don't know how to meet each other and don't know how to talk face to face anymore um, and we joked on it. it's more of a serious thing but we did joke about it and so we just like to have a lot of fun to just mess around about even stuff that that we do uh, just as college students that's awesome so for my final question I just wanted to ask you something a little wider so since you have your own podcast who would be your dream podcast guest oh my gosh that is uh, a wonderful question Probably um, Tyler Joseph. He is the lead singer of Twin Pilots. Nice. Uh, I've been a huge fan of them. Uh, I hate to be that guy, but I've been I've been there with them since day one. I know they've blown up, but I really have. I can remember seeing them in a room of maybe 200 people, and they've blown up so much. And I feel like he's just such an intriguing guy when I watch him on interviews. And me being such a fan of his music and the way he thinks and the way he believes, uh, I would love to just pick his brain. So I would have to say that would be number one, Tyler Joseph. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so I'm much Kaylee for Mize, me. and this is uh, Noah Hunt. <laughs> thank you for joining us, everyone.